Hey guys, Shannon from Shannon's Engineering. First single cab 79 series Land Cruiser. Finally done one. So I'm um, very excited to show you guys this one. Something different to the usual dual cab. So um, might as well just get straight into it and show you around. So GXL in white. I'll just do a quick walk around first. Okay, so starting up the front here, the car has been ceramic coated with the Safari snorkel. The owner himself has actually um, paid and arranged to have all these accessories fitted, so we didn't do any of this, but nonetheless, it's got the TJM winch and bar, side steps, CB radio, snorkel, he's got the wheels and tires. He has got the Dobinson's two inch lift and the Torquette exhaust. And he's also spent up and got the J-Max diff put under there to fix the diff track correction. Um, up the back, he's got the X-Bar tow bar and, and a Shannon's tray. He's also provided us with the extra wheels as well. Not much has been done inside, so we're not gonna go there. But nonetheless, brand new car, still not registered yet. It is actually going down to Wollongong today for Rego. So, thought I'd make this quick video. I'll start around the dark side. What we've got in this front box is automatic lighting, central locking, the ARB twin piston compressor, and a second fuel tank. So we have actually plumbed in that second fuel tank uh, totally separate from the main tank and we've got a little egg switch there for the air compressor. Again central locking and this is a nice little table as well. Um, can't really put much weight on it because you'll probably snap that cable but definitely couldn't stand on it. But we've got the one piece guards, all aluminium and in the back again automatic lighting, uh, central locking, and the main tank diesel filler with a little light built into that as well. Nice little touch. Stainless steel hardware everywhere you look. Up the back. Aluminium rear drawer and it tucks in nice and neatly. You can hardly even tell it's a drawer. And it's fully encapsulated underneath, if you look under there. Hang on a second. Yeah, so it's fully enclosed to keep the dust out. We do, do also have a water tank under the tray with the gravity feed tap here. Um, 
Moving right along. Automatic lighting, central locking, and the tap. I just haven't put the stickers on here yet. So we've got the pump switch there and an extra spare switch for anything else he wants to put in himself later. Up the front, we've got the last box, which is his gas bottle storage. This guy is an avid camper. He will be putting a huge, uh, big camper on the back of this and also a towing trailer. So this is going to be his kitchen side and he wanted somewhere to put his gas bottles. We have also vented the back of the box. If you can see there, there is vents in the back, just in case of any gas leaks, I suppose. But for gas bottle storage, you do have to have the toolbox vented. And there's no central locking or lights in that one. Obviously, you know, gas and um, electricity don't go well together. Up in front of the tray here, nice headboard design and two spare tire holders built into the headboard. They are adjustable for different diameter tires if you want to change to a bigger one. In the tray, we have powder coated the flooring in a black and also the inner of the sides and then we've got some stainless steel stainless steel tie downs in the corners and in the middle. That was the owner's request just to have four in there. As I said, he will be putting a camper on there for the majority of the time. All right, so dropping the sides just like any other ute. They are a nice feeling, these tray sides, they are. Nice and solid flooring. Well finished, stainless steel hardware everywhere, even the little rivets holding these on. These do come off as well if you don't want the sides on and you want that clean, clean look. So, plenty of tray space there. First single cab, loving it. I think the tray is exactly 24.75 long, I think and it finishes in line with the tow bar, so it doesn't look out of place. Nice big wheel arch there. All right, just done some magic, took the sides off, just to give you guys a look at what it would look like with no sides on. Massive tray area. Alright guys, that pretty much wraps it up, so thanks for watching, don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video and um, I'll continue to make more ones, so thanks for watching.